Welcome back to Daily Blast Live. You likely know him as the host of Dirty Jobs on the Discovery Channel. Now Mike Rowe is rewarding people for their good work. He tells us all about returning the favor in today's Chatting with the Stars. Mike Rowe, thank you so much for joining DBL. Your Facebook Watch series, Returning the Favor, is in its third season. For those who haven't seen it, and I have, and I love it, what's it all about? It's really a show about the making of a feel-good show programmed entirely by the viewers, somewhat hosted by me, and uh, it is now completely out of control. Mike, you've said that you don't consider returning the favor a show, but rather a mission. What do you mean by that? I want to find the people in your community, in your neighborhood, who are slightly better than you and me, doing the kinds of things that we all wish our neighbors did. You and I share a mutual love for veterans and unveiling the difficulties they face. Why is including and rewarding veterans so important to you? One and a half percent of the population wears a uniform. Veterans are the people who volunteer. I mean, you know, the draft is gone. So our entire country is defended uh, by people who step up. And so to, to not have their backs, after the fact, it's just, it's just inexcusable. Mike, people also know you from the Discovery Channel's Dirty Jobs. That show actually sparked the idea for you to start your own foundation. Tell me about that. So I started a foundation called MicroWorks. The purpose was to shine a light on good jobs that actually existed that for whatever reason went unloved. Uh, that was on Labor Day 10 years ago. Today, it's a, it's a scholarship fund. We award work ethic scholarships, about $5 million so far. And we train people for welding, steam fitting, pipe fitting, carpentry, hmm. the kinds of jobs that make civilized life possible. Well, final question, Mike. Speaking of jobs, you've hinted before that America has often waged a social war on work and even become defined by inauthenticity. Are you encouraged by these recent jobs numbers and low unemployment and higher wages? And do you feel the American dream is still attainable? You know, the skills gap in 2008, when I started my foundation, was 2.3 million. Today it's seven million, hmm. so maybe I'm making it worse. I don't know, uh, but <laughs> but the message is starting to get out that a four-year degree is not necessarily the best path hmm. for the most people. More people are looking at trade schools than ever before. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mike. You can catch new episodes of season three of Returning the Favor on Facebook Watch. Thank you so much, Mike.